In this video, we're going to be looking at VFXs, the mistakes we make when we put VFXs into our timelines, and also some tips of how to do it better in the future so that we don't make the mistakes in the first place. So as you can see on my screen right now, I've got quite a boring movie of an aeroplane flying through the clouds. It's not so important what the clip is. So if I stop this video right now, go to my VFXs, click on the plus sign, and let's grab some text, which is going to be a normal title, and I'm throwing it all the way on top of my V1, my video one track there. Let's just resize some stuff so that we can see what's going on. You can see that the sample text is there. I'm just gonna say, this is the sky, so it doesn't look so boring. We're gonna right click over here and unfold so that we can see the text VFX all the way across the whole of that clip of video. And here comes one of the most asked questions. How do I not have a VFX take up the entire length of the clip? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it if you've already put the VFX in and you want to fix it, and I'll show you how to do that right now. We'll disable the audio, disable the video. We'll move our playhead to where it should be. Press C on our keyboard to cut. Press C on our keyboard to cut. I'm gonna throw away the bits at the start and the end. We'll go back, re-enable our tracks like that, and you can then see that we have our VFX or our titles will only be where we want them to. Now, what if there was a better way of doing that so that we didn't have to put a title in and then cut while disabling tracks? Because that can be quite annoying to have to do again and again. So let's just get rid of the title so we've got no VFXs anymore. A better way of putting a VFX into your track would be to move the playhead to where you think the VFX should go. So in this case, again, I'm gonna put in a title and I'll say at around 10 seconds is where I want the title to go. I'm gonna press an in and then I think to myself, well, I think it should be on the screen for about 10 seconds. So at about 20 seconds, I'm gonna put an out. If I now go to my titles, I can now put a title inside that in and out that I made. So the title itself will only be that 10 second slot that I chose. Now, if I get rid of that just for a second so that you can see what the alternatives are, if I put it in the middle, it will only take up the 10 seconds I gave it. If I go outside of that, it again defaults to being the whole clip. So it's worth knowing that Lightworks really respects your ins and outs. So it will only put it inside the in and the out if you choose to. Now this has the other advantage of being able to move your ins and outs like this. You can move them manually, don't have to get rid of them. And you can throw in a second title, for example. So that makes life really, really interesting for us. So we can have multiple titles and you know I made a video before of overlapping text, so we, we talked about it there. So this would be the correct way of getting your VFXs only where you want them to be in your clip. Now let's get rid of these two. Let's get rid of the ins and outs, and let's go old school and put in a title like this. We'll unfold it. We'll again make it interesting like this. So there's our title, and we follow my instructions, so we disable the audio, the video, we press C on the keyboard, like this. We get rid of the stuff we don't want, re-enable the tracks, and we have our titles exactly where we want them to be. Now a question that I'm asked more than any other, both in real life and online, is how do you stop the screen from going black when you move a VFX? I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we were to disable the audio and the video, move our title to a little bit closer to the start, you can see that immediately our video goes black in the background. Now there is no real fix for this by moving the timeline around. There is a fix and we'll go into that in a few seconds. But just know if I undo this now to where it was, when you're moving VFXs around, don't disable anything. They will move quite happily. In fact, you can have two or three VFXs and you can move them around how you want to and nothing will happen. As soon as you disable something, the screen will go black. So what happens if you move a VFX, you switch your video track back on, and you've got a black screen? And remember, that black screen will appear in your timeline as well, so that kind of ruins your movie. Well, not quite. Let's go to VFX, and we've talked about the graphs in previous videos, but we've never talked about routing. Let's actually click on that 
And what you can see is that the routing tab actually has all the VFXs and all the video clips we've got. And what we're allowed to do here, which is quite cool, is we're allowed to apply effects to different clips how we want them to. Now in this case, you can see that the video clip is playing, that there is a text on top of it, but the text and the video are not connected. Their connection is broken. So let's click there, move it down to there, and you can see now that the titles, the FX1, is now connected physically to V1, which is our aeroplane clip. And you can see rather than black, our text is on top. Now, really interesting would be if I showed you what happens when we move things. So if I was to move this text around, you can see that the link is still there. It's not broken. As soon as I disable the video and move the titles, you can see that the link is broken. It's almost like you're switching off the video track and then telling Lightworks, well, I don't want you to actually connect these two anymore. I'm physically breaking the connection. So in this case, again, a really simple fix would just be to go and connect the two again. And we'll have videos in the future talking about this routing because it's really, really cool. But for now, this is a really simple way of fixing the black screen VFX problem that so many people complain about.